Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here and welcome back to the latest Road to Gulliman painting challenge video. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to keep up to date with the challenge as I go along, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. So the first thing I like to do is put a grey primer on the model. Once that's dry, I use the can of McCraig Blue to put a solid base coat of McCraig Blue all over the armour. And the spray can is so much quicker for base coats like this because it would usually take two or three tin coats painting by hand to get it done. So I'll just put the McCraig Blue all over the model because there's so much blue in this, I use it with all the Ultramarine models. So what I usually do then is I paint the black parts of the under armour, which is Avedon Black Saw, and this model is well it's on the wheel so I like to get that done first because the next part after that is a null and oil shade in all the recesses so all the under armour parts usually kind of behind the elbow under the armpit uh, the legs in particular any kind of part that's like separated or any kind of joints or something like that put a null and oil shade in that and of course you can tidy up then with McCraig blue after that so once that's all dry any of the higher parts are then highlighted with Calgar Blue. Now there's quite a few dominant uh, edge highlighting parts on this model, especially, especially the front part of the bike, uh, just over the wheel. There's a lot of um, parts sticking out, so you can get a really good highlight on that. What I usually have to do with this one was, I put a big tick highlight on it, and then I just tidy it up with McCraig Blue as well. And then we come to the metal parts, which there is quite a bit on this, so you have the exhaust, you have the parts on the wheels, you have the rims kind of going across as well. You have the guns, you have the pole, so there is a lot of metal on this. So I usually base everything in lead belcher. It's a really solid metal colour. And get that base colour on, and then for the shade, then go over it all with null and oil. Usually, I like to go not too heavy, more like kind of like a medium heavy wash of null and oil on these, just to get that dirty metal look. It really uh, makes the metal go that much darker and when you put a highlight on the contrast is usually really good. And speaking of highlights, once that's dry you go over all the highlights, all the edges and the parts sticking up with Stormhost Silver which is a really good paint to put over Lead Belcher as well. Moving on to the gold parts which there isn't a whole lot, I don't think there's any on the bike apart from the ammo casing on the guns. Um, there's a chest plate and well as usual you get the chest kind of plate, the eagle wings on that and the rims of the armour. They're done with Retributor armour. Once that's dry I, like, I usually like to do the gold with Agrax or shed over that because with the null and oil it, get, it goes too dark, it takes the kind of little bit of a shine of gold off it. And then once that's dry I use Liberator gold and to highlight the edges on that, especially on the armour parts on the or the shoulder parts, you can get that air crack shed in the kind of joints there and it really looks and it looks really nice uh, once it's highlighted as well. If you can see there, the screen on them was painted with deck guard green, the screen of the bike. I didn't go into too much details in it because it was the first time trying to do a screen like that. So I just left it with deck guard green. It looks nice, it took a couple of layers. Deck guard green is really thin. So it came out okay, it's just a solid green colour on it. The buttons on it were Mephisto on red and one of my new favourite paints, Celestial Grey. Uh, the eyes are done in Mephisto on red as well. So the base firm, I really wanted to do a road base on it with like road lines on it, but maybe if I had like two more of these guys to do, so I might try and do it on them too. For this model, I kept it really basic. So what I did was I used Astro Granite. I have a cork base on top of it. Uh, Ast Astro granite around the edges to give it that kind of rubbly look. Mechanica standard grey then for your base coat on it. It's one of the best uh, one of the best base coats of grey. Uh, let that dry. Put your null and oil. Put a very thick uh, shade of null and oil on it to get it to really really darken down and get it to look dirty. And then once that's dry, I usually like to dry brush with Dawnstone grey. So as I said, there is very few colours on this. You have your blue, you have your metal colours, your little bit of gold, the tiny tiny little bit of red and celestial grey, and then of course your base. So it's probably like six or seven colours. There's not a whole lot on it, but the blue and the silver are the most dominant colours as well. So I really enjoyed painting this model. Hopefully you guys liked it as well. And if you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment below. I'm looking forward to painting the next model for the Road to Gunman Painting Challenge. So make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.